Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to take a look at making a pretty simple effect in Photoshop that I like to call a shining text effect. And this is what it looks like. We can get this done in a matter of a couple steps, so let's get started. Let's click on File New. I'm going to open a new image with a width of 1000 pixels and a height of 800 pixels. Press OK. Um, first thing I'm going to do is select the text tool with the font impact uh, and just type in Octo in all capital letters. And then select the text tool again, type in Toots. And then what I'm going to do is uh, press Command T or Control T if you're on Windows. Hold down Shift and uh, just pretty much make this, make the Toots a little bit bigger so it matches the Octo. That looks good, and I'm going to position this a little lower, and that's looking good. And now what I'm going to do is select both of these layers, right-click on them and click on Rasterize Type, then right-click on them again and click on Merge Layers. And now we have Octotuts right there in the middle. I'm going to right-click on it again and click Duplicate Layer, press OK. And then we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Radio Blur. We want the quality to be best, the blur method to be zoom, and the amount to be 100. Press OK. It's going to take a little while to load, and there we go. We already have pretty much most of the effect done. Now all we have left to do is to fill in the background with black. So we're going to select the paint bucket tool, click on the background layer, and fill that in. And then we're going to double click on, that, um, on the zoom layer and add a gradient overlay on that. So let's add a light blue gradient overlay. This one looks good. Press OK. Press OK again. And then we're going to move this layer, the zoom layer, behind the original text layer. And then one last step, we're going to double click on that original text layer and add a outer glow. We're going to add a light blue color. The blend mode to normal, the opacity to 100 and we're going to add the size to about 5 pixels and press OK. And that's it. We're already done with the effect. It's very quick, very simple, but it looks really cool and you could use it in multiple places. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys learned something today and I hope you can make this useful in different situations. Till next time, I will see you guys later.